Hey guys, it's Liar here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you guys the best weapon loadout for Gambit, in my opinion. And basically, just showing you guys what the best weapons are for this game mode. Now, for this video, it's not going to be a specific loadout, just good guns that you can choose from. You can choose your own specific loadout out of these guns. And one thing to also note is that this is my opinion. But like I said, you don't need to choose the specific loadouts for this video. You can make your own. Another thing to mention is that this is exclusively regarding weapons from year one of Destiny 2. Not Forsaken weapons. Uh, this video was made before Forsaken and it's going to be released before Forsaken hopefully. Yeah, so there's not going to be any Forsaken weapons. There could be a lot of solid weapons coming in so stay tuned for part 2 if there are a bunch of weapons. But if, for now this is exclusively for year 1 weapons. Now the main tips for finding the best weapons for this game mode are using guns that do good in both PvE and PvP. Or you can have at least one good PvP weapon and one good PvE weapon. And the third weapon could be for either of them or even both. Before I start listening to weapons, I'm going to go over a few things to keep in mind. Uh, one being that masterwork weapons can be very helpful for this mode so i recommend you use them if you do have them but if you don't mind having a masterwork for a weapon it's fine having orbs in this game would really help out but you don't really have to use it another thing is that if you run two special weapons you're gonna have really low ammo sometimes when i was running two special weapons i would sometimes have no ammo and it'll be really hard to find because it really screws you over especially when like the enemy evade and you're just defenseless so really risky to use too but some special weapons are very strong in this mode compared to other pvp modes because they spawn a ton of ammo like pve but this isn't guaranteed that you're always gonna have ammo as I said earlier, you're gonna have times where you don't have any ammo at all. I recommend you use at least one special ammo weapon just because how strong they are in this mode and how much ammo you have so it'll be a waste not to use them. And the last thing I want to mention is that different elemental weapons can give you an advantage for different encounters. For example, if the adds are fallen, it will be arc shields mainly. So arc damage will help take down those shields for sure and it will like melt faster. And even for the taken bosses that were in the gambit preview, the wizards had void shields so I recommend you have a void weapon sometimes, but it could change, so it's not really a guaranteed shield that'll respond 100% of the time. But it's good to have the same matching elemental weapon. But anyway, let's go on to the actual weapons. Uh, let's start with the primary slot first. This is the least important in my opinion. It's not as significant, but it's still gonna help you. Special ammo weapons like the Balagant or Hawthorne shotgun and snipers like the Lona's of God are good. So any of them can do fine, especially with there being more special ammo draws for you. So I recommend you try them out. There's also some PvP weapons that I didn't like in this mode at all. Things like the Three Graves Pulse Rifle. It's good in PvP alone because of two tabs, but in this mode, it's not really effective against like ads and bosses. So I recommend you don't use this. But I've seen people use the red tricks and they're doing just fine, but they probably suffer when it comes to DPS and ad killing. Beat is key in this mode and the weapons just don't cut it. So I'm pretty sure there's better choices for the primary slot. For weapons that require regular ammo, here are my go-to primaries. So the first one's going to be Suros Regime. Really good. It's been strong even before this recent patch, but now it's just really good. It's honestly top tier in my opinion. And for Gambit, it's really good because it's still decent in PvE. It melts fast. You can use spinning up. Or you can use focus fire it doesn't matter they're both good but either way you're gonna do a lot of damage in my opinion so i recommend you try Suros. it's a really good option uh also crimson is always good that's probably gonna be a common option uh, i haven't used it yet in gambit but i know for a fact that it's good in pvp i know for a fact that it's good in pve so it's definitely worth a try so check them out but the thing that i'm worried about is that it might not be worth the exotic slot just because they're exotic primaries and there's probably a lot of better exotics for special weapons and power weapons but anyway let's go on to legendaries i'll try out sky rifles like the main this midnight sky rifles are probably going to be really good in this mode i can just stay back and uh do some damage or just kill ads and keep it safe i think the right sky rifle might be good i haven't actually tried it but i know it's a fun one to use so i recommend you check it out and even the trial sky rifle might be good so check them out uh but yeah sky rifles are going to be pretty good in this mode they're not going to be in my loadouts very often just because i'm not a sky rifle person right now and but they're really fun to use and they're really good it just i rather use other loadouts so i'll get onto that later a really strong hand cannon you can use is the midnight Coop, and there's other hand cannons you can use but i just feel like midnight coop is the best hand cannon for pve and pvp and it's definitely going to be one of the strongest for gambit in my opinion especially when you can use uh rampage and kill ads and then go invade and you'll still have rampage and you can potentially kill some people easily so yeah it's gonna be really helpful you can also try out the huckleberry like i said for Suros and the crimson it might not be worth the exotic slot but it's definitely good for killing ads and it does a lot of damage and does it fast so i recommend you try it out if you want to it's definitely going to be a good weapon for this mode also recommend trying the rat king it's going to be underrated i haven't seen anyone use the rat king in this but it's going to be really good for gambit the reason that is is because you can use the invisibility and kill someone go into the invader side and go invis and when you're invisible during gambit you don't glow up so the enemy team can't see you when you're invading really it's going to be really hard to notice you but it's only for a certain amount of time until the invisibility lasts but yeah rat king's going to be good sidearms are really good for this mode they do a lot of damage they really buff the sidearms they feel really strong now sidearms aren't really dominant in crucible right now but like i said it's the best of both worlds for pve and pvp 
So I feel like the Rat King is going to be strong in this game mode. Another legendary weapon that you might try out is the Origin Story. Uh, you can use any auto rifle in general, even the positive outlook, or maybe even Uriel's Gift. But I feel like the best auto rifle for Gambit is going to be the Origin Story, just because it has Rampage on it. Rampage is going to be a really strong perk for this mode. And yeah, it kills adds fast, and you can also kill Guardians fast. So that could be really helpful if you want to find a legendary in the primary slot and use an exotic somewhere else. But like I said, the primary slot isn't really that important. It's up to you what to use for this slot. You can use anything you want. Just something that can do enough damage and kill adds potentially. Or maybe even use this as a crucible weapon and use it to kill guardians faster. Anyways, get on to the secondary slot. Uh, this and the heavy slot are where you want to prioritize exotics in my opinion. Because the exotics for this slot and the heavy slot are really good and they're really strong. And I'll get onto the heavy slot in a second, but right now let's start the secondary slot. And the first weapon I want to mention is the Risk Runner. The Risk Runner is really strong for this mode. Really, really strong. You basically feel immune when you're using this weapon. This weapon doesn't even require skill. As long as you get hit by arc damage, you're just, you're just a monster. You will not die. You're a bullet sponge. Risk Runner is probably going to be my favorite weapon for this mode. Just because of how strong it is. And it's not even like a special ammo weapon, so it's gonna have a lot of ammo. So definitely check out Risk Runner. It's one of the best weapons for this mode, if not the best secondary slot weapon. But that's just my opinion. You guys might know some other weapons to use. Another weapon you, you guys should try out is Prometheus Lens and the Cold Heart. Now these weapons are both really good. It doesn't really matter which one you use. The Cold Heart could be used for fallen enemies because of the arc shields and these lens can be used against the cabal with the solar shields but they're both really strong in my opinion the cold heart does more damage to dps and Prometheus lens burns people but they're really strong like i said you definitely recommend trying both of these out in pvp they're strong as well but in pvp they don't have enough ammo and they have like barely enough to one shot someone maybe two but that's only if you hit all headshots so it's gonna be really rare for that but in gambit because there's a lot of ammo drops these weapons really shine i haven't tried the cold heart but i know the Prometheus lens melts everyone in sight and it's just the beast of a weapon and it's really good for crucible like i said just didn't have a lot of ammo but in this mode had a lot of ammo so now it's gonna be dominant so i really recommend you try out the Prometheus lens and the cold heart the next weapon i have for you guys is the telesto now i haven't actually used the telesto on gambit but I know in Crucible it's really strong right now. Definitely the best fusion rifle in Crucible. Because I kind of have all other fusion rifles in terms of range. It might not be that strong against bosses. But I know it still does a lot of damage. And it's really fun to use. I've seen a clip of it where they stick it on the power ammo on the enemy side when they invade and they leave. And once they leave, they actually get a kill when someone tries getting power ammo. So it's really fun to use. It might not be your best option, but I recommend you still try it out. Another weapon you guys should try out is the Sunshot. Now the Sunshots have been actually nerfed and there's a bug with it where like you can't three type in Crucible. But this weapon will probably be a PvE weapon instead of a PvP weapon. Focus this weapon for adds and potentially DPS. And when you kill adds it causes a lot of explosions. So this is kind of like the Risk Runner except you don't really get armor from it or anything. But it's still really solid and it's good for clearing at. I also recommend you try a Borealis or Borealis, however you guys want to pronounce it. It's a sniper, so it's going to do some damage to DPS. But the reason why I think it's good is because you can switch the elements. The main reason why I'm saying it's good is because you can switch the elements. So it's good for any type of enemy, whether it's Fallen or it's Cabal. You can switch the element and shoot the shields. Since there is the Taken Void shields, you can actually just shoot them off and don't need to switch weapons or shoot them easily. But other than that, it might not be your best option for Gambit. But it's also really good because you can actually potentially use the borealis perk and get three kills in a row with it and use that last shot and use the overpowered shot to body shot someone i forgot how the actual borealis sniper works for that perk but it could actually pull it off My merciless should be great as well but i think there are a few better options for exotic slots still and merciless hasn't been as good as it used to be anymore but it's still really good it's still really good for boss damage this weapon will be really good for killing the boss in the last second where like you're in a crunch time and the enemy team is always killing their boss you're the last second you can use this to easily melt the boss because how fast it fires at the end another bunch of weapons that are good for gambits are all the escalation protocol weapons the smg the shotgun and the sniper the sniper has box breathing so it's good box breathing is one of the best sniper perks in the game right now close shotgun is still really good it's good for ads it's good for pvp and it's good for the boss so it's good for everything and the smg is also good for everything it just has more ammo now all special weapons in general are good due to there being a, a ton of ammo drops for all types of weapons like i said earlier uh snipers like the long walk are great for both invasion and dps but they still can't one shot enemy guardians and super let alone supers in the invasion shield buff but if you hit your shots, it's not a big problem. I love using the long walk and it feels really crispy in Gambit. I don't see a need to use regular fusion rifles. They're still good, 
but they're outclassed by other weapons in Gambit, partially due to things like ammo availability for other weapons. They also nerf fusion rifles pretty badly when they were put in the secondary slot. In regular PvP, some of them are horrible and have horrible one-hit kill ranges. Probably stay away from them until they actually get fixed, because I really hate the state of fusion rifles right now. They're not fun to use and they're just not that good. There's a reason why you don't see a lot of fusion rifles in Crucible anymore. Non-special ammo legendaries like the Anaglo Dress are good for this kind of game mode. Uh, good archetype, great perks, and I recommend you use this weapon when you have a special ammo primary and or you already used an exotic slot. So this is good if you're using like a special ammo weapon type in the primary slot. So you can use this in the secondary slot. Now anyways, go on to the power weapons. Uh, big one, do you guys probably expected this? Sleeper Stimulant. One thing I will say that it's not that overpowered, and I'll get to that in a bit. It's decent in both PvP and PvE, but it's amazing in Gambit. It's similar to the Prometheus Lens where it doesn't shine in both game modes, but in this game mode, it's just amazing. But yeah, it does really well. It does a lot of DPS to the boss. And it's the only weapon in the game that can one-shot supers uh, for invading. So yeah, that's going to be really helpful. It's really easy to use for invading. The thing is though, it's not as overpowered as people think it is. It's just a really easy weapon to use. It's not like you can't counter it. It's like if you hit your shots and you outgun them, if you have more skill than the player, you probably will beat them. So it's not like it's going to guarantee you get the kill or anything it's just that the weapon doesn't really take skill to use and it's easy to land one thing i will also say is that i haven't ever died to sleeper stimulate in uh gambit you're doing well then you shouldn't die to this weapon it's just like shoulder charge if you're good at the game it shouldn't be a problem for you in my opinion it's not that overpowered as people think it is so people stop complaining the only one day of gambit i don't know why people are asking begging for nerfs but anyways going on to the next power open slot which is my personal favorite and go to loadout and that's the tarantula now you can actually use any linear fusion rifle it's just that tarantula in my opinion is the best the reason why i think that is is because it has the most range in general the best perks for a linear fusion rifle tarantula is basically super simulates in this case it actually takes a headshot that kills someone now this weapon's really underrated this is basically the legendary version of super simulant really good for dps tarantula has always been underrated uh even before the forsaken patch it's one of the best weapons for pve at least for damage wise it's comparable to other snipers so i highly recommend you touch out the tarantula it's still easy to use but you need headshots and it's really quick and snappy to use this is by far my favorite weapon for gambit at least for power slot tarantula paired off with the risk runner is my favorite loader in the game right now for gambit so that's a really good loader in my opinion i recommend you try that out next weapon for power weapons is going to be the darcy been known for being really good for dps and just being the best sniper in general or as it used to be darcy is really good for killing guardians it's good for dps so it's Definitely a solid weapon. It's good for both PvE and PvP. Next weapon I'm going to say is the Whisper of the Worm. I don't want to confirm it, but it's apparently the highest DPS weapon in the game right now. And it has a lot of ammo, if not infinite ammo. It's going to be really good. I've seen a lot of it already. It's also decent for killing Guardians. So yeah, try out the Whisper of the Worm. It's probably going to be the best weapon for DPS. Maybe even one super stimulate, but I honestly don't know the numbers. Tractor Cannon, it's good for DPS. If you have a good team, you're trying to get more DPS down, use a Tractor Cannon. The Legend of Accurus, in my opinion, isn't worth the exotic slot, but it's still good. Just bet there's better options. I can't always rush enemies during invasion, so shotgun suffer there. Better to keep distance and be stealthy. The enemy team is going to focus on you when you invade if they're a good team. But it can one-shot a lot of enemies, and it could do good for DPS, so it's up to you if you want to use it. Next up is Rocket Launchers. They're really good, especially with there being more ammo, but it's not dominant in my opinion uh use ones like the sense of the past or the current call for more dps and yeah that's what it's mainly used for dps but it can do good for invading uh it can kill guardians easily if you want to use a rocket on them i know a lot of people like rockets for easy kills and crucibles so you can do that in gambit also relating to rocket launchers the warcliffe coral feels really good in gambit as well it's good for killing guardians it's good for dps and it's also good for killing ads so you can use it for all three but you're gonna have to test all these weapons that i listed and like make sure you know which one's best for you because like i said it all depends on your play style and what you're good with i wouldn't recommend using swords for dps but they can be good i know swords are really good for the rat king combo you can use uh, invisibility or just maybe like general hunter invisibility run around with a sword and get some good kills though they won't see you coming but other than that it's okay against dps for the boss but that shotgun can already do that so i'm not sure if this is worth the actual slot but it might be a fun weapon to use anyway that's the video guys let me know what you guys think let me know any loadouts of weapons you guys have make sure to like subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time peace